Hello, today I'm going to show you some ideas on battery technology. Now, lithium ion batteries are becoming increasingly popular, they uh, can store a great deal of power, but what we want to do is to show you an alternative to lithium ion batteries, which is lithium ion phosphate batteries and this is what we've got here which have been installed into this vehicle it's a Fiat uh, Chausson it is uh, more than six years old well the batteries were put in then now you may uh, recognize that down here on where the driver uh, sits on the floor we've got the battery compartment now we've already opened it so I'm going to show you what's inside And there we have a battery which is lithium ion phosphate. Now, what is the difference between that and lithium iron? Well, the advantages of lithium as a, gen as a general rule are that it charges very quickly. So that is the, uh, one of the big things. And also it's, it's, it holds its charge for a long time unlike uh, the traditional lead acid batteries which can, can lose them. You can also have many cycles of uh, charging. It can go on for a very long time. Uh, you've got, we're talking of hundreds of cycles and the cycles normally when you take it down to in the case of lithium, uh, sorry in the case of lead acid you're looking at about 50% charge so if you've got say 100 charges if you take it down uh, to uh, 12 or something like that once every month then you'll get eight years use of it if it happens more frequently once every week then you're going to get a lot you're less use out of it um, in the case of a uh, lithium batteries you can it's thousands of times so I mean you can go on for years and years and years in fact it will go on far longer than your vehicle will go on for indeed it'll probably go on for far longer than you will go on for so that those part uh, important things other advantages are the um, the charging speed and it takes ages to get a lead acid battery up to charge for example if you uh, had a lead acid battery in your car in your vehicle and you, you drive you've got to drive for about 10 hours 8 to 10 hours something like that to get it from uh, 50 percent charge to 100 percent with something like this it takes next to well next no time it's not true <laughs> it'll take a couple of hours but it's far far quicker so that's uh, another major advantage of lithium but the, the advantage of lithium iron phosphate is this is its safety now there's a number of technical things we could go into when we a bit too, uh, too much for a video like this but it, it uh, whereas lithium iron it does have it could potentially uh, explode or cause a fire or something like that. I mean Samsung last year in 2016 had uh, major problems with its uh, Galaxy uh, Galaxy 8 I think it was one of the, one of the phones. Uh, this uh, with phosphate it does not have that problem. I mean it's theoretically I suppose it could happen but it's it's highly highly unlikely to have it. So what we're going to do now is we'll have a look at it. Now we have a look at this battery down here which was put in this vehicle six years ago. This is a prototype and it has been designed to fit the Fiat Ducato. Now in this case as a prototype it didn't quite fit and it had uh, had to be made a little bit larger but now I'm going to see this it has been made bigger so we uh, sorry more, rather smaller so it fits perfectly into the uh, Fiat Ducato. It works not only as habitation batteries, as which I'm talking about, but also as a starter battery. And therefore, it can save considerable weight. Uh, this one here has got 108 amps, ampere hours in it, and uh, that will power uh, well, just about everything you'd like to have in your van. But if you want to go over the top a bit on things, then you could indeed try for... Uh, try for more you can sort of build it up as to have whatever you want this type of technology also works quite well in uh, electrical vehicles for example uh, also for bicycles and uh, other uses what we've got here is a setup of what the Fiat Ducato looks like today so this is where you uh, the driver sits and you've got your steering wheel uh, above it and all the rest and obviously we've taken the top off. This shows what this battery setup will look like. Now we have two types of cell each containing 3.2 volts. This one is 85 ampere hours and this one is 120 ampere hours. Now if you want 
a 6 volt battery you use 2, if you want a 12 volt battery you use 4 and if you want a 24 battery you use 8, you put them together and if you series or parallel depending on what you're looking for. What we've got here is a setup which as you can see it's a 240 ampere hour at 12.8 it weighs only 22 kilos, which is considerably less than the batteries you're probably using at present. So if you've got 240 ampere hours, you will need at least two habitation batteries, which are going to be quite heavy, plus your starter battery, which is also quite heavy as well. This, okay, I appreciate 22 kilos is quite a weight to lift up, but it is considerably less than what you're using at present. Now, what we've got here, the setup, we have this which goes to the chassis earth, uh, something I had great difficulties with in my own motorhome rebuild, which you can see in another film. And here we have the, we can see from this what the current state of play is on the battery itself. And as you can see, okay, it's not connected to anything and it's not drawing any current except for this one display. Now, this type of setup obviously makes far more sense than the traditional setups. Now, I do appreciate that many original uh, equipment manufacturers are less keen on using something like this because it's more expensive. You're looking for two and a half thousand euros for, for the, the, uh, the, the setup. But if you're into more, even extreme, you want to do some off roading or something like this, you've got to go for something like this because the lead acid batteries, are, the battery setup is going to be so big and so expensive that it's not going to be a good idea. Now, let's have a look at some of the other advantages. Charging. You can charge this in a couple of hours instead of the, well, to charge 240, you're going to have to drive up two days or something like that non-stop if you're using the the, the, uh, the engine. Obviously the solar, it'll depend how good your solar is but uh, all the same um, it will take uh, a bit of time to, to do. So, so you can charge this from the alternator. A system like this does not require additional wiring. Uh, furthermore, as you may have heard from uh, Fiat and other companies are now putting in what's called smart alternators, they will stop charging when the uh, engine battery has got to its maximum. Well, in this case, uh, in many motorhomes, uh, the problem is that they won't charge the habitation batteries at all unless you get a special additional unit. In this case, everything's built into one, therefore uh, it keeps charging until the thing is at 100%. So you don't have to worry about that. So something for new, new Fiat owners, which is very important. So we'll start the engine up. Yeah. So 61% current amperage is 1.48. It's charging. Getting faster because the sun must be getting a bit stronger. And the battery voltage is at 13.14. See how it's dropped suddenly as the uh, engine started, but now we've got it coming in as the engine's running. 81, seven, let's say around 80. Uh, a battery voltage 13.47. So it's uh, yeah, loading pretty quickly. Really, you wouldn't normally expect to see that from uh, a normal uh, battery. We've also got the time to full, which is one hour and three minutes. Yeah, this current, yes. Which, you, I mean, on the, on the lead acid battery, it would be, uh, what, it's 60, I mean, it's, it's hard to make comparisons, of course, but 61% you'd expect, what, four hours or something? Yes, but you have the knowledge about it. You see what's happened. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I yeah. mean with this display. 
Yeah, you can see, you can see, you can see precisely what's going on. Yeah. Now you hear the fan. Yeah. You need some current, so then you see it, 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 it drops in, off. It calculates every second. Yeah. But I mean the time. But now we have a one percent in its short time. Yes. Loaded in. Yes. So that means this people stay in. The sun is not shining, and you need more. Uh, Capacity. Yeah. You, can, you, can, you can use your stationary uh, uh, motor yeah. for 50 minutes, yeah. and it, it, it loaded at 20 percent. I mean, you wouldn't. I mean, there are people who do that with the normal batteries, but they, uh, it doesn't. It there just doesn't charge. It. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It. I know. I think that well, happens all the time. You see people trying to charge the batteries uh, by starting the motor up. It just uh, makes no sense. And then we change the, 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 the alternator because things in the alternator are basically for, made for the lab battery. Because the lab battery, not, not, uh, you, you, can, uh, you cannot charge a lab battery quick because it is cooking. Yes. That means that the construction in the, in the alternator is made for this lab battery. That means when we this construction put out of the alternator, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a half hour. Yes, yes. But I will not change something on the, on the, on the car. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But it, it can be much better, much yeah. better. But it's good enough. Yes. So, and together, and it works together with the solar panels. So, when we f uh, go in, in, a, in a tunnel, you see, we have no. We have lower current, but, but since we uh, come the outer tunnel, we have more because the sun is again there. And that is all, also so what, what the people say. What, what happens? Work my solar cell. You can see on this that the solar cell is working well. Sometimes more, sometimes uh, uh, lower. So this solar is not, not stable. So it's what, a couple of minutes, 2%? Two, two yeah, yeah, a couple of minutes. Something like that. You see now the. Until the, the engine's the off, yeah. Then the current is go down. So now. Uh, so now on ti time to. Oh, time to uh, time to full, but it's uh, it's taking power now from the solar cells. Yes. So, so we can. Uh, uh, 1.3 amps and the, the battery voltage at 13.3 another thing is it's very low temperature 16 degrees um, it seems to me that I don't know I controlled it that much but it seems to me mine uh, mine's a bit warmer it seems maybe I'm wrong no but this 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 is the temperature in this box yes yes not here and this box is in in the air yeah. On, on so the, the battery the, itself's the, not even getting any warmer whilst it charges, yeah, yeah. which is lead acid isn't the isn't the case. 